Hey Fingsters! In this video I want to show you an important uh, regular expression operator which is called the um, character set in Python regex. So, so say we again import the regular expression package, import re, and now we want to match an arbitrary character um, from a given set then we can use the character set operator. And there are many terms such as the character class, the character range, character group, and you even character set. And you will find all those terms in the web and some tutorials, but um, I think the most uh, precise um, name or term is the character set. So I will use character set for this tutorial. Okay, so what is a, what is a character set in a regular expression? So surprise, big surprise, the character set is a set of characters. Okay, so if you use a character set in a regular expression pattern, you basically tell the regex engine to choose an arbitrary character from the set. And um, yeah, as you as you may not know, like the definition of a set is that it, it is an unordered collection of unique elements. So basically, if you have a character set, then each character is unique, and so we, we don't have duplicates in in our character set regular expression. And the order also doesn't matter with a few minor exceptions. So let's have an example to, to show you the character set in action. So we have imported already the re package, which is for regular expression um, uh, processing. We use the find all function, which takes a pattern and searches the pattern in a given string. Okay, and now our pattern is, the char is a character set basically. So we have a very simple character set of five ca characters, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, and this now means that we don't Python basically doesn't match all of those characters or, or even a subset of those characters, but it matches only one of these characters. You, so you can think like we have the opening bracket, the closing bracket, and in between we have all the characters in the character set. So think of them as like independent characters. We match only one of all the characters in the character set. And now we have the string hello world. So now, and you, as you may already know, the regular expression engine now starts at the first position in the string. It tries to match the first um, character. It would would this be a match? What do you think? No, it would not be a match because the character H is not in the character set. So this would not match the text, which means that the regular expression engine would move on to the next character. And the next character then is character E. It checks, does this character match the pattern so is it in our character match uh, character set and uh, this character e is in fact in the character set so e would be uh, the first valid match okay but then it moves on so it consumes the uh, e character and it moves on because it tries to find all matches it's a find all function after all so it go it moves to the right and finally finds that the second match would be the character d okay so we have two matches the character e and the character d so um, you can see the character set, no matter how many characters are in the set, we only match one character. And um, yeah, also, I mean, if you, ha if you have duplicate characters, then it's, uh, you, you, can, you can try what happens. So say we have like two E's, what happens? Nothing. Yeah, so it basically just internally just removes the duplicate, basically. It uses a set rep rep representation to do the matching. Um, and this makes it, also makes it also very efficient. Like it checks, oh, is the character E in the set, which is like a simple membership operation. And as you may know, membership in set or, um, in sets on set data structures is very efficient. So it internally it uses a set to implement this um, regex feature. Okay, so now you know the basics. So you know the, what is a character set, but basically there is there are a few minor details which I want to dive into next. Um, so basically, first of all, we can simplify many character set by using the range symbol, which is this minus symbol. And uh, that has a special meaning, but only within the square bracket. So for example, um, say, le so let's copy this previous operation. Now, instead of writing like the subsequent characters, A, B, C, D, E, we can simply write A to E. Okay, so we use the minus op the minus symbol, and the minus symbol usually in regular expressions doesn't have a special meaning, but in within a character set it has a special meaning, and it is a it's called the range operator. So it means that it uh, matches one character out of this range, and uh, of course it includes the start 
character and it includes the end character and it's a bit different like lists for example for example in slicing for example you don't um, add the um, the stop position but I mean it, it doesn't matter so it's just just to avoid confusion it like matches the whole range including the start and the end character so a b c d e the whole range of subsequent characters okay so this would be exactly the same it would result in exactly the same output and um, so let's have a bit more uh, complicated ranges what happens so for example can we have more complicated ranges such as uh, a, a to e we have already checked but now we can also have uppercase characters a to e so now now these are all the lowercase characters a b c d e and those are the uppercase characters a b c d e and then we also can match like other ranges like numerical ranges from zero to four yeah and you see that it it, it may look strange you may have to uh, get used to it a bit but it's um it's a very like consistent handling of the character set because in the character set you can just type in all the characters beside each other and of course if there is a minus then the left symbol of the minus and the right symbol of the minus are um, basically used as the range uh, as the range uh, borders um, but yeah otherwise we, you, you can just type in the characters uh, beside uh, so one after the other um, good okay and now say we want to match this character set on the, this string so a bit more complicated string here with numbers in it so what do you think would, would be the output here? So think about this for a moment or pause the video. Where would be the matches here? So basically we have four matches. We have the first, the lowercase character E, which is the, like the match, it matches this range operator. So the first E matches this range. Then we have the uppercase character D, which matches this part of the pattern. So so. Um, yeah, it basically again the regex engine it goes from uh, from r uh, left to right, it tries to match all the characters. So now it matches the character D. Now it again moves on. It tries to match the empty space. No, it cannot match. So it moves on. It tries to match the number four and is four in the character set. Basically, it is in the character set, so it matches. And then it checks the next um, uh, symbol, which is a two. It is two I two is basically in the um, range. Uh, given in the character set so two is also a valid match and then it moves on exclamation mark isn't a valid match and it's done okay so you can like stack these upon each other so ca you can use multiple range um, operations in the same character set but what if you want to match all characters except some characters so we can achieve this uh, with the negative character set and the negative character set works just like a character set but with one difference it matches all characters that are not in the character set okay so here's an example where we match uh, like sequences of characters that do not contain the characters a b c d or e so say we have the find all function again and now we have the negative character set which is uh, so we use this head upper um, this head symbol here so this in combination with the opening bracket indicates that we start a negative character set now and you have to be careful because the head symbol um, uh, independent of the square of the opening square bracket just means the start of the string but it has nothing to do with the start of the string so th just think of those two symbols as the um, indication that a negative character set is coming and it has nothing to do again with the start of the string so this is a common mistake that um, happens for many people okay so say we have the negative character set a to e on ag again the same string we have already checked hello world so what happens now think about this for a moment you can also pause the video if you want so in this case basically we match all all characters um, are a valid match um, but not the character so except the characters uh, that are in the range so which is the e character and the d character otherwise all other characters are a valid match and i i mean a variant of this would be to use for example the plus symbol so if you uh, if you have something like this then we would match um, as many of those um, characters uh, um, as we can basically yeah but at least one one character that is not in the character set so in this case it, the result would be like it goes from the right to the 
from left to the right the first the h character is not in the character set and therefore it is a, an, a valid match but the second one the e is in the character set so it is not a valid match it's always inverted so the first result is the h then it consumes the h it goes it tries to match here but e is in the character set so the character e is not a valid match it m moves on and now it consumes the L, it sees, okay, L is not in the character set, so therefore it is a valid match, but it can, it now greedily tries to match as many characters as possible. It matches all of them until it reaches the this point. Here it tries to match D, but D is in the character set, so it's not part of our, um, of, of our at least once operator of the pl pl uh, plus sim, uh, symbol or the regular expression that um, we have, which we have defined. So it goes back and returns this one as the second solution. Okay, so this is how you can use the negative character set. It's a very, so like in combination, those are very powerful and you will find them in most um, larger um, regular expressions from prose. Okay, and sometimes sometimes you can you also find this error. Sometimes you have the, so, so what happens if you want to try, like if you want to match the bracket symbol itself. So we may want to do something like this the opening bracket we want to search it in a string so we have a string hello world something like this and now don't get confused this one is just a normal string so there's no character set here um, normal string with the character opening bracket and the character closing bracket and now say we want to search it for the pattern like for the character opening bracket this this is done very often because people are not aware that this is a special symbol so they just use it in their pattern and then you will get an error so it will tell you unterminated character set at position zero. So here position zero is this one. So we basically, Python assumes that you have just created an um, character set, but you haven't closed it. So it thinks that you made some mistake here. So if you actually want to match the uh, opening bracket or the square bracket, then you have to escape it with the backslash, just the um, leading backslash. Then we have the square bracket and those in combination so if you have the backslash in front of any special symbol it will just remove the special meaning of the symbol and um, yeah you basically tell python just to use the normal backslash character and now it will find the match okay so it will, it will be a string consisting only of the opening uh, bracket good so that's it um, thanks for listening in this video and this uh, so like in a short summary and if you use a character set x y z so like here this one x y z in the regular expression pattern you tell the regex engine to choose one arbitrary character from the set x y or z okay so one character only and yeah, one character in this set and you can use the negative character set with this head operator it's also sometimes called the carré operator and outside of the character set this carré operator has a special meaning it means uh, match the beginning of the string but inside the um, bracket it loses its special meaning and it's basically it uh, in combination with the opening uh, square bracket it means the negative character set good okay yeah then thanks for listening and see you in the next video bye